The other thing that's running through the, the narrative of the martyr family, so, that, so there's this commentary on journalism, also commentary on politics. You know, Charlie Martyrs is, is a war hero, yeah. you know, sincere uh, Republican. He's a moderate Republican yeah. in the tradition of who's watching Eisenhower. His, who's, who's watching, watching yeah. his, you know, he names his kid Ike. Yeah. Uh, and he's watching his party change uh, as Watergate unfolds and looking at, you know, there's this scene with Howard Baker and, yeah. and uh, you know, he's trying to say, well, you know, look how much he's, he had to really go out there and, and challenge Nixon and right. his, his, wife's wife, like, his wife doesn't buy it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so w what are you saying about American politics through, through the struggle of this family? Charlie is, Charlie, so Charlie Martyr, as you note, is a World War II hero. He's the main character of the first two books <laughs> and he's kind of a, um, a secondary character in the, in the most recent book. Charlie Martyr is a World War II hero. He's an Eisenhower Republican. He's a, General Eisenhower is his hero, and, and President Eisenhower, but gen, the general is his yeah. hero. And um, he is a conservative Republican, but a 1950s conservative Republican. So he believes in civil rights, and he believes in an internationalist uh, foreign policy. Um, and then he just watches his party change. Uh, and so he, you know, he, he wouldn't exist in the Republican Party today. But in 1977, he's, he's watching his party change. He, you know, he likes Gerald Ford. Yeah. He likes uh, Nelson Rockefeller. And he's watching his party change. He likes George H.W. Bush. And his wife, Margaret is a zoologist and Margaret is liberal and he and his wife fight about what his party is becoming. And um, his kids are, their politics are undefined, really. Um, but but, but they're, just, they're, they're arguing about what the party is. And he wants to believe the best of what Howard Baker, who's then the Republican leader in the Senate, is. And the, and the Democratic leader is Robert Byrd, the former Ku Klux Klan Grand Kleagle. And so Charlie, had, Charlie feels like he has a, look at that disgusting guy. He's got a point. Um, but Margaret doesn't buy it, what, not that she likes Robert Byrd, but she doesn't buy what Howard Baker is all about. Right. She thinks that he, Charlie's fooling himself. And so their tension is a lot like the tension that, that the Republicans are going through right now. Except there aren't a lot of, Margaret, there, aren't there, aren't there aren't a lot, a lot of, Char of Charlies, there aren't a lot there of Charlies, a lot of Charlies left. Left. Yeah. The, I mean, Charlie is, you know, Romney or Kinzinger or Liz Cheney. I mean, there, aren't, there just aren't a lot of them left. Yeah. You know. 